animatronics at its very best. The Fisher Price Dragon. Let's try making it move then. Absolutely brilliant. Really like it. Unfortunately, I destroyed the circuit board. Don't know why it doesn't work. The dry motor drivers work, but I can't get any sound out of it and the eyes don't flash. The eyes are supposed to flash traditional couple of LEDs in there to make those flash. If we take a closer look then, what we see is a main gearbox down at the bottom connects straight onto the motor that then goes up through a shaft which is bent so that's what rotates the body that's rotating the body if we then come up a bit we've got a, a second gearbox which drives the arms and the head so that gearbox then makes the arms move up and down via cams. They're on a spring so that they load backwards and forwards. And then coming out of the top of there is another bent arm which is going across here. So that's coming out and that's going on to the head. On the top of that arm, there's a cam which follows with the cam follower. The cam follower then here goes into this groove to close the mouth, pushes it away to open it. I've just put this crew bit on here to hold the cam follower in place. So if we move it round, oops, where's it gone? There, you can see the cam follower, you can see the mouth wide open, and then hopefully the mouth will go down, close itself in the cam follower. So there we've got the cam follower in the cam and the mouth closed. If we move it a little bit further away, then the mouth's opened as the cam follower's rotated round. I'm controlling it using a end of an electric screwdriver, just using the reversing switches. I've put a lithium cell inside it so that I just have to press one of the buttons to get it to move clockwise or anti-clockwise. Their system moved it a little bit clockwise and then a bit anti-clockwise. It has a switch in there somewhere so it knows the position. Love it. Just think it's brilliant.